This video is going to recap the Major League Baseball 2020 season. However, we're not going to go over all the ups and downs like Robinson Cano, Kim Ying becoming the first female GM, or three home run games or MVPs. Let's get started. Baseball News Club presents the 2020 season recap. I'm going to need you to subscribe, follow, comment, and please like the video. The 2020 Major League Baseball season started off in an odd way. As opposed to spring training due to the coronavirus pandemic, the season was delayed and we did something called summer camp. It was like baseball, a little bit different. Instead of playing other teams or spring training, teams had to adjust to get ready for the MLB season by themselves. And part of it was Luis Robert hitting a home run and falling down. We also had memories of Don't Run on Chico, the clubhouse attendant for the Dodgers. So these were all enjoyable, good things happening with a little different flavor to them during summer camp. And then came opening day. Yankees at Washington and Giancarlo crushed a home run, first one of the season, to get the 2020 campaign going. There was great Cy Young performances throughout the season like Bieber and Bauer. And then one of the most entertaining moments during the season was the Houston Astros being trolled by Major League teams. Joe Kelly was the leader for that. And then also it happened with the Oakland A's when an actual coach for the Houston Astros in the dugout was talking trash, which led to a brawl. But this was the backlash from Houston Astros and their cheating scandal. They're lucky there wasn't fans in the stands is all I got to say. And then who can forget Cole Calhoun's slow motion inside the park home run, followed by Towards the middle of August, you had Charlie Blackmoon and DJ LeMahieu hitting 400 plus. Then we have Juan Soto's 466 foot home run. Vladimir Guerrero hitting the ball twice during one swing. Here it is again. Tap, tap. And then the unwritten rule controversy when Fernando Tatis Jr. hit a grand slam off of Texas. That ended up becoming a controversy because the coach ended up complaining in the media and it jinxed their team. The Padres ended up hitting four grand slams, four games in a row, thus becoming Slam Diego. Here's Eric Hosmer hitting the fourth. And then we had Jose Alvarez taking 105 mile per hour to the nuts. Ugh, that was a bad day in baseball altogether. And Marcel Asuna in the unwritten rule Braves were blowing it up against Philly, but it's okay if you hit big home runs before the sixth inning. And then you had the Chicago White Sox showcasing their power against the crosstown rivals, Chicago Cubs. Just giving a little taste of what's coming early to the baseball season with the Chicago White Sox. Then you got Cole Calhoun with his odd base running antics. Sticks his head into the ball during a base running play. Called out. Not able to do that. And then you have John... Three bags birdie in the steel cycle with for New York. Victor Robles, 288 foot throw, double play. Absolutely phenomenal play. Not even a bounce, this just goes right to the first baseman. And who can forget this? Bryce Harper absolutely crushing a pitch. Ronald Acuna Jr. running it down and absolutely making a great laid out catch. Yadier Molina's extra inning game ending base running brain fart. Chapman's 100 mile per hour pitch to Brousseau. And then this happened multiple times. Drones interrupting games to where players and coaches and umpires had to leave the field. Kiki Hernandez making light of it. Then Jake Marisnik running into the wall. Phase first. Great attempt. And then Delino DeShields Jr. doing the same thing but actually able to catch it. Bryce Harper arguing with an umpire and getting tossed and actually this was a little trigger happy moment by the umpire Bryce did not really go over the top perhaps the oddest ejection of the season wasn't even a player it was the Nationals GM Mike Rizzo being ejected by the one and only Joe West what do you expect and then the Atlanta Braves and the unwritten rules again 29 runs but nothing was said about this game running up the score Scary moment for Dodger fans, Dustin May getting hit in the ankle. For the Red Sox, Bobby Dobbuck, five consecutive games with an HR. 
And the grossest moment of baseball this year in 2020 was Chapman crap in his drawers while he was on the mound during the game. And Javier Baez in his crazy base running slide into second base. Fielded by the outfielder, but Javi's too smart, moves his arm around, and gets in safe. Great base running play by Javi. How about Matt Joyce in his say hey moment over the shoulder catch into the Bacardi sign? Great play. And who can forget the controversial moment with Ryan Braun arguing with the umpire and arguing with Yadier Molina on balls and strikes. And then subsequently later on in the bat, he swung his bat and hit Yadier Molina's glove. Some fans think it was on purpose. Some people thought that Yadi stuck his glove too far out. And then you've got Adam Eaton's beard kicking the ball out of his glove. Kind of crazy. Josh Donaldson hitting a home run. And then when he gets to home plate, he's ejected by the umpire. Again, trigger happy umpires, just like Joe West. Their egos just ruining the game, embarrassing themselves. And crazy field in play, St. Louis against Milwaukee. How about a little kick to first? That's just a typical 1-3. Albert Pujols passing Willie Mays for fifth all-time home runs. Justin Upton, scary moment, getting hit in the head with a 100 mile per hour pitch. Todd Frazier pitching 1-2-3 inning in the ninth inning for the Mets. Trevor Bauer getting trolled again, but this time by Tim Anderson. Put that in your YouTube channel. And then Jose Marmaleos, the unfortunate golden sombrero. And then the crazy guy that snuck into a Boston Red Sox game yelling 9-11, freedom, all the other fun stuff that crazy people do. And there he is. Good job, Matt Damon. And Kyle Farmer cup checking his whole team all the way around. Kind of weird. And if there was an award for best bat flips, Wilson Contreras definitely took that home. Look at that bad boy just up in the sky. Loved it. Miller Park. Interesting moment. Fan walks in. Didn't have to sneak in. Just flat out walked into the stadium. Did thousands of dollars of damage to the field. Security was there, but nothing was done to stop him from destroying the field with the tractor that he found. Just really odd moment. And Trevor Bauer again trolled again, this time by the Atlanta Braves mascot, Blooper. He stood behind home plate for about two or three innings, just giving the mad dog stare to Trevor the whole time, not even moving. Then Harrison Bader... The unfortunate achievement of the Platinum Sombrero. Chicago Cub bullpen having a good time during the game. And then we got the playoffs. Foul tip by Tatis to Yachty, and then a few pitches later, he ended up crushing it out. Great series against St. Louis. And then Tommy Listella, the over-the-shoulder catch. Great effort by Tommy. And then Trevor Bauer versus Acuna in the playoffs. Acuna doesn't like the high inside. Tells him I'm watching you. And then over in the Oakland series, Springer just having a fantastic playoff series. Home runs left and right. And Houston breaking the bat on the weak spot, but a real man breaks it over his head. Bo knows. Fernando Tatis crushing a shot and Bellinger robbing him in the playoffs. The base cam, which is only used a few times, which should be used all year long. Chapman versus Brousseau. Brousseau getting revenge. Manuel Margot up and over the wall during the playoffs for an amazing catch. And then a hilarious and odd moment. Ozzie Albies hitting two home runs during the playoffs and it was caught by the bullpen reliever Mark Melancon each time. And then the great matchup playoff series in the National League against Atlanta and the Dodgers. Acuna loving it. And this is the series where Marcel hit a home run and then did the selfie photo in the dugout with his teammates. Started becoming a trend. And then Corey Seager winning NL MVP for NLCS. And then Randy Arozarena doing the same thing for the AL. And Randy also lit up the playoffs. Bellinger separating his shoulder with Kiki Hernandez. You see right here, he's already in pain, so he spun around. And then the next time he hit a home run, he pointed down to his foot. And he only did foot taps instead of shoulder taps. 
And then thanking Mookie Betts for getting tacos for everybody in America by stealing bases in the World Series. And since we're allowed to have fans in the playoffs, we had the fan catch of the year. And then a playoff performance for the ages, Randy Rosarina just setting records left and right. Incredible series for him. Caught a fan during the World Series, smoking some wacky tobacco possibly. And then in one of the best World Series in recent ages, the Dodgers beating the Tampa Bay Rays for the first World Series since 1988 for the Dodger organization. Congratulations to the Dodgers, but of course, goes without controversy. Thank you very much for watching Baseball News Club. Have yourself a great day.